Hey there, welcome to our fourth episode of Getting Started with Leaflet. I'm Victor, and uh, this time we're actually going to start working in Leaflet a little. We're going to get our first look at the actual code. We've talked a little bit about mapping online generally, and a few different uh, possible APIs or mapping solutions you could look at. And we've decided that Leaflet is the one we want to go with, um, mainly because we just started doing a course about that. Um, but why don't we take a look in a little more depth and actually start getting set up um, before we go into a bunch of specific topics. So here we are with our Leaflet. So as we went over a little bit in the last section, Leaflet is the open source mapping solution, really. Um, now open, d different types of uh, mapping platforms are going to have different pieces of them open um, and open source, but a lot of them will have uh, different tiers, different paying subscription systems at some point. Uh, that goes for Google Maps. I believe it goes for a lot of OpenStreetMaps uh, providers. And it ultimately goes for a lot of the providers that you end up using with Leaflet. Um, but the code itself is uh, not tied to any accounts you have to make anywhere or anything like that. You just download it and you can start using it immediately. Um, and you can use it as just straightforward HTML. It is also an NPM module, if you know what that is. It basically means you can install it in more complex projects where uh, things aren't just, where you aren't loading JavaScript just by HTML. Um, and the one great thing about Leaflet is it really does have quite good documentation. Uh, you have to get used to reading it a little and clicking things a little bit. Uh, we're going to be going through documentation pretty regularly. I'm going to try to get you a little bit of a feel for it. Um, and there's all kinds of third-party like plug-in um, additions to Leaflet to help you do a lot of other things than just the plain mapping. There's a lot of geocoding plugins. There's routing plugins. There's uh, you know we're going to look through a, a few in this episode, um, and there there's a great number of them, and they're great, and they're um, they're free for the most part. Although again, there is this aspect to mapping where a lot of services. Uh, you do end up needing API keys to lot, run a lot of them. For instance, a lot of the geocoding uh, servers uh, where you're giving an address and you're trying to get back a coordinate, uh, those are free up to a certain point uh, just because it's a, lot of, it's a lot of work when you have thousands of people doing it uh, all at the same time. All right, so let's head out of this and let's actually go to Leaflet and let's get ourselves started. Okay, I've got it all open here, but why don't we just close all that and we will just look up leafletjs.com. Okay, so here we go. We are on Leaflet. Um, pretty simple, kind of weird looking map they're starting, but that is OpenStreetMap default, and that's totally free. Uh, now, in order to actually use it, we have some code here, but we need to actually get started. They have a really nice, handy uh, set of tutorials. Here is the quick start guide. We'll go to that. And we'll just make this little map. So what we'll do, if you can come to this site, uh, just go to see this example standalone come to this part of your site and in your whatever um, browser or system you're using, do whatever you do to right click and view page source. And we're just going to copy all of this. I'm just going to control A, control C, make a new file, copy it in, I'm going to call it index.html, save it, there we are. Okay, and now I'm going to go find that file here, there it is, the index.html, I'm just going to drag it into the browser. Here we go. So now we have our own copy of the same um, starter that they have on this page. And we'll look through now a little bit at it just to get started, although in the next section we'll be going into more depth about uh, a bunch of things. But let's just look at it real quick. So we can see here we have just our typical HTML right here. We are loading our leaflet CSS. This is absolutely necessary to load, otherwise the style won't appear correctly. I'll, uh, break it for you and load it just so you see this is what happens when you don't have the CSS working. This is something that may happen to you currently, so occasionally, um, just because sometimes when you're in more complicated processes, it's not so easy to load the CSS. And so if you do see a weird tiled thing like this, that is why, so be aware of that. And of course the thing won't load at all if you don't load the JavaScript, which comes just under it. And you can see here they're loading from what are called CDNs, Content Delivery Networks, so you don't have to download the file yourself. But you could easily download this file and put it in this um, in this directory. 
Okay, so, and then we have a, we create a div here that has a width, 600 and 400 height. And there's a little bit of code to create the map. There's this L dot, which is kind of leaflet's key signature thing, L dot. And then there's tile layers, marker, circle, polygon, pop-up. That all sounds pretty obvious what is going on there. Uh, there's going to be circles, polygons, markers, pop-ups. That's great. Um, now let's... I just wanted to show you that a little bit, and in the next section we're actually going to start manipulating this. Um, but I want to get you used to seeing coordinates and just this code a little. Why don't we come back to Leaflet, and we'll look a little bit at the documentation first, and then we'll go over to plugins just before we uh, end this video. So in the docs here, it's fairly a long document, as you can see. So there's a lot. So right up at the top, you're going to have almost everything you're looking for. Um, so when you are unsure exactly what one of these might be what you're looking for, feel free to do a um, control F or a find in the page and just type something that you're looking for and there may be another set of uh, terms that matches it. So for instance here we have the use of creation, map creation. So if we come to map creation it has this L dot map which we have up here L dot map. String ID, that's what we gave here between this div ID this ID. And then there's it can take a bunch of options. Now we aren't passing it any options. This is actually a separate thing. There's no options being passed. But if we wanted to pass options, we can check here. There's prefer canvas, attribution control, zoom control. And then there's a bunch of other options that come in beneath here. So how would we pass these options? Let's just let's just make it easy. Let's say on this one we have the zoom control and we don't want that. It looks like we can just take this zoom control because it's an option under LMAP options. Typically options will be passed as an object after the first parameter or just within the sum when, when a function is being called like this you're going to see options passed that way and let's make zoom control false and see if uh, it makes it go away. So it disappeared. So we can see that uh, there are a lot, a lot of different options, and generally this is a, s a common way we're going we're gonna to be executing and calling those options on different types of things in Leaflet. You can also see on the next level, on the next section here, that l.tilelayer, um, it's kind of long, but you can see here this is actually an object as well that we're passing options into. Okay, so that's great. Um, we're going to do that a lot more, so if it's confusing at all, don't worry, we're going to do it a great deal more. Let's just look at the plugins a little. So it says here, you know, Leaflet is very light. It's just a mapping uh, library with allowing you to add shapes and, and some basic things like that. But there's a lot of other functions that people like on their maps. Um, so we can see here there's clustering, that's fairly common, um, different types of base maps. Um, there's geolocation, as I mentioned, geocoding, as I mentioned, actually, routing, lots of different things. So let's just go to geocoding. Uh, so these transform an address into the place, uh, sorry, an address into latitude or long and longitude. And there's a lot of different ones. So there's, if we click on one of these, you know, just a random one, we get sent to this GitHub repository, then we have to figure out, like, how do we install this? How do we get this? Okay, so maybe we drag this in here and then we add geocoder to the map, figure out all kinds of things we have to figure out for each one of them, just exactly how they work. But it's very good to know that these are available um, to different extent. You know, cluttering, there's a lot of marker cluster, or sorry, clustering. There's a lot of marker cluster things uh, that make you know, if you have thousands of markers in one place, it just shows you an image that says 1,000 instead of trying to show them all. And there's a lot of different um, providers and stuff. So for how your map's going to look at the base map, we're going to look at these more in the next section. But I just wanted to throw you uh, this link and some of the overview of Leaflet so that we can get started uh, and you're a little more educated about what you'll be able to do even beyond and outside this course. Now we are going to go over a lot of these things in the more advanced section, but uh, you can also figure them out yourself along the way. All right, so uh, now that we're set up in a very basic way, uh, we're going to move on to talking a little bit about data just before we do more. Uh, we really have to touch on data if you're not already a mapper. Uh, 
It's very important. So we'll see you in the next section.